Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin Lee. So today I'm going to show you with you guys how you can incorporate Wing Chun into a Muay Thai for clinching game and practice by yourself. So make sure you guys stay tuned. All right guys, so to start with the drill, all you need is a heavy bag like this or you can actually use a pole or any sort of a stationary object as long as it's vertical and stationary. The second thing that you need is basically like an elastic band like, like this. Uh, you can use any type of elastic band. What I will do is basically uh, wrap this around the rope or basically around the, uh, the heavy bag. Once you have tied this around, you're going to wrap around your neck like this. So what this is going to do is going to give you a stretchy uh, feeling around your neck. And you can sort of use this as a manipulation to the elbow, to the arm, or to anything that's tightened around your neck. Now, a lot of times because in, in the clinching game, you're gonna have either people tighten up for your neck like this, we're gonna hold on to your neck with either two arms or one arm. And it's hard to say that either the hand will go on a bicep, or sometimes you'll control the back of your neck, sometimes you'll try to push your face across for a better control. So what you're gonna do as a starting position, this is what we call a fuck out. Anytime they grab onto my neck like this, instead of having your hands down here and trying to punch your body, you have to be careful because if I don't control the arm like this, they're going to try to elbow me. So the first thing I'm going to do is as soon as they have a hand around my neck, I'm going to have my elbow down and then clinching down like this. So what this is going to do is control their bicep, so it's going to be harder for them to elbow me right away. Now, you can start with a square, uh, you can start off with a stationary with a square stance. With, with my stance, I'm going to try to stay that feet. So my feet are going to pointing out. If any time my hip goes out, this is gonna allow my partner to knee me. So instead, I wanna stand close with my hip posture forward and body's gonna stay tall. My elbow's gonna stay down. The other variations, you can have your elbow out like this. Notice how my pinky is going under. So it's almost like a re inverted bone saw. Ideally, the bone saw will go underneath the hand like this. But sometimes you can reach over the arm like this and your pinky is gonna go aiming towards the opponent's armpit. So that way it creates a crossing frame. It will make it harder for the opponent to either elbow or strike with a knee, okay? So, number one, I'm gonna control like this or this. You can reverse the position. I'm gonna show three techniques to start off. Number one, I'm gonna control like this. What I'll do is I'll take my hand, I'm gonna pull this hand down the same time, I'm gonna have my elbow travel above my wrist like this. While this hand's doing control, I'm gonna basically drive forward with an elbow like that, okay? The other variation is I'm gonna push and pull. You notice how this hand comes underneath the rope. Once that's lifted up like that, I'm gonna follow through with the elbow like this. I'm not trying to go forward with the elbow. Instead, I'm trying to go angle inwards like this. So traditionally, you were coming in with the elbow like that. The problem with this, if I just push up my elbow forward, I'm gonna miss a target. So instead, I'm gonna have my elbow travel about 45 degrees across the line. So what you're gonna see is I'm gonna push this down, the same time I lift this up, and I'm gonna turn my hip and then strike with the elbow like so. Once I'm here, notice how I pull this end back down and then follow through with not the elbow, okay? So one more time. First technique, I'm gonna basically drive this down and my left elbow's gonna go over like so. The second technique, I'm gonna pull this hand down, lift this up, and then elbow inwards with this. If, there, if I feel the resistance coming in, I'm going to raise my left elbow and then elbow again. That's going to be the first two techniques. So one more time. So number one, pull and elbow. Lift and pull, elbow and then elbow like that. You can switch on the other side. Elbow one, pull, elbow two. So what I'm basically doing is manipulate the hands around my neck. You can play the drill like this with an elbow. Elbow, you can scoop like that. Notice how I'm pushing the hand away. I'm still controlling on this arm right here. Then from here, I'm gonna lift my knee. I can either knee with the right or knee with the left. When I knee with the right, I'm gonna slide lift my body back and strike forward with my knee. Same thing with my left, just like that, okay? So push and pull, elbow one, elbow two. Sometimes you jam across the face like that, and then this elbow's gonna travel forward, up and down. Jam the face, lift the elbow high and down. Then scoop, elbow one. Elbow two. What you're trying to do is manipulate these arms around your neck. It doesn't matter what you, either you're trying to push and pull, you can scoop the hand away like a hung sound, or you can try to bounce out like this. With a double hand bounce out like that, you can also add in with the knee shield. When the body turns away, face push, as I drive this foot down, the elbow follows. Then drive this elbow down. You notice I'm controlling this arm right here. Then I lift this hand up and then drop the elbow one more time, okay? And the, the goal is try to be free with the technique. There's not really a set goal. 
If you understand how the hand and manipulation works, all you're trying to do is control the hand like this. Notice how I'm just controlling the hand, you can scoop it, push and pull, elbow one, elbow two, push, elbow one, elbow two. I try not to do more than two elbows for the striking purposes. So all you're trying to do is manipulate it, the hands, one and two. You can elbow, you can knee. You can elbow, you can knee. Every time I elbow, I jam, face, uh, cross, cross face right away. Then from there, you can knee strike. Then follow through with the elbow right away. And of course, once I'm manipulating the arms, I wanna make sure I'm always having a proper control over the ropes like this. So you can go one, you can go two, you can push across this way like that. You can pull it down and push it up. Pull it down and push up. Anytime I push and pull like that, I'm gonna try to elbow or elbow like that. If I scoop it like that, notice how I control this arm, elbow one, elbow two, lift and pull, elbow one, elbow two. If I double push like that, I'm gonna elbow with either elbow. Notice how my hand double push under, it's almost like I do a tuck out with a Wing Chun. Double push, elbow one, elbow two. If I double jut, I cross this arm, this is my hand, I pull it down, cross this arm right here, then I have an elbow strike. With my arms maintain the same level like a Lang Sao, then I elbow straight over it. You can elbow this way, trap again, and then elbow right away, okay? So, these are just a few variations that you can practice by yourself using Wing Chun technique and kind of play with the clinch. Some of these I use a lot in my clinching game. Once you have a proper control, it's a lot easier for you to follow through with the elbow. But it's gonna be hard if you just have a position, but you don't know how to manipulate with the body or the lips. So once you have a position, start to play with the balance. Offset the balance, break the posture, then you can follow through with the elbow or elbow. Play with the technique. Every time you follow the elbow, you knee. Every time you follow the elbow, you knee. You can face push, elbow, knee, and go back to clinching position right away. To me, understanding position and structure is such an important factor. So you wanna think about controlling position, elbow, strike, back to your position. Or maybe your elbow, your knee, you dump the guy. And then once you sweep, you'll have a different structure to play with, okay? So I hope this video will help you guys to kind of incorporate some of Wing Chun technique into Muay Thai. And then of course, the more you play, the more you come up with a different technique, you'll feel more comfortable with it. Once you're done with this, take that piece of drill and apply it with the partner drill. Then now you just kind of find the partner with the elbow path, find the timing, clinching position, then you kind of feel where the hand's gonna go. Anytime the hand runs around, opens, you can follow the elbow, we can punch, punch, push, head kick. It's very similar to how we practice Chi Sao. So basically, you're kind of aiming the Chi Sao, adding elbows, structure, and then strike whenever the, op uh, whenever the position open, you follow, okay? And I hope you guys like the video today. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week.